Hello everyone, this is Bigowski. And this is JTB. And I've decided to go back and play the original Ninja Gaiden on the Xbox. I'm actually going to be playing it on the 360 as you can see. But I'm playing very hard. There's not a lot of commentary and actually videos showing how to make the time bonuses. Uh, the good thing about Ninja Gaiden, you don't have to worry about UTs. But there's still, you know, chapter bonuses to be made the kills and the time plus time limits to be made some of them are tough on the more difficult chapters or later chapters but having said that here we go and this costume is so good i miss this costume so much <laughs> yeah i think i've i've made a uh, a couple videos from that a long time ago and i always use this costume it's just the the best yeah, and as I said, it, it's not just the sword. Like I think, like the actual costume looks awesome. Like if you really look at it, like and the attention to detail in the costume, it's really good. It's like it's not just the fact he has a lightsaber. <laughs> the costume itself is actually really cool. Well, the great thing about this is there's just no UTs. I mean, no, you know, no UTs that you have to worry about. But this fight right here. You actually want to ET your way through it. If you try to do any UTs, it takes a while for the other guy to drop down, and it's kind of hard to make the time limit. So, ETing your way through is, at least it was the best for me. I mean, it's still pretty close. Like, you know, it's, what, was that, what was that, like 0.3 of a second? Yeah. And I was worried if I, like, adjusted the camera to look into the middle, and you have to adjust with the right trigger. Uh, I was afraid I was going to mess that up. Uh, there's also no essence in the torches on NGO4. Right. Oh, um, really quick too, the essence absorption system is completely different in this game as well. Uh, well. We'll get into that when we have a bit more time. But it's so it nice not to have to worry about UTs. <laughs> I just can't stress that enough. Because yeah. I want to start using my UT essence to uh, save up so I don't have to farm a lot later you can actually farm the bats in this game and, yeah you know, it gives you a lot of essence but i don't want to do that so of course i'm going to be playing it like a karma run in order to really max out my essence there's videos on there just showing hey let me just go through it not worrying about the time not worrying about essence not worrying about kills and again there's a lot of videos like that there's not a lot of videos like this I don't think there's any videos like this, to be honest. <laughs> uh, at least not that I've seen. It's it's really weird to see brown ninjas take this much to kill, though. <laughs> like, usually, <laughs> usually they just die straight away. So <laughs> to see them actually take like multiple hits from a UT, it's like, what's going on? So here's one I'm gonna end up kind of messing up here, jumping away. I, I didn't mean to do that, or that again. I meant to just hold the Y to absorb, and then there we go. You know, yep. hit the torch. Three three ninjas right in and front he, of them. I guess the like, torch posed a, yep. uh, the greater threat. Uh, one thing you can uh, notice here as well, it's pretty it's pretty obvious if uh, no one's played, but uh, the, sh the ninjas are way more shuriken happy. Um, on NGO4 on the higher difficulties and the reason they do that is that you know when you get hit with a, with a shuriken you're stunned like quite significantly uh, and also it has a nasty habit of like catching you out of uh, online UTs well one thing that we're going to talk about a little later on in the game that I want to bring up now though is you cannot rotate the camera so that actually kind of throws me off because I want to be able to rotate it Mm -hmm. And, you know, just trying to get used to that. It, it takes me a little while to get used to that stuff. Man, like the whole I cannot, game. <laughs> I cannot believe he did that. that he just survived an ET. <laughs> that brown ninja. It looks so weird. It's funny to... You forget that on NGO4, you know, like, all the enemies are the same. They, you, like, you get more of them. For, like, you know, you get higher enemy counts, but the actual enemy types, you know, are, are the same. See, I um, went to go fiend stealer and it didn't fiend stealer. You'll see that happen a couple times. I just hate that. Mm -hmm. But also, you'll notice in order to control the timer, it's the left button. I mean, the left yeah. thumbstick button. 
And so me and my big, fat, heavy fingers, I keep pressing it when I don't mean to. Yeah, I noticed that keeps going away. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad that there's... See how I, I went to go... We were talking about this earlier. I knew the guy was there. I went, pushed the direction that he was in, and it went the other way. So I, I'll do that a lot. And again, I'm sure it's me messing up. And the best part about doing this run is I got a lot of new transitions I can use. <laughs> I was just about to say, that transition is godlike. <laughs> I will not. I use that for uh, or a karate theme. <laughs> it's funny. I've, I've not thrown shurikens and been hit. I've thrown shurikens and slid between both of them and it's whiffed. That's a weird fight, just because of its, you know, the fact that it's on like a, you know, an inclined um, terrain. Ma'am. Nunchuck transitions. I, I've not seen these before, people, so... <laughs> See, again, I went to go fiend seal over the guy. So what I did is I went ahead and did these fights right here in order to see how much time I would have left on Mirai. Mm -hmm. Because I am going to be farming some of the enemies, but part of me kind of hates to say it's it's not out-of-the-way farming. Uh, or, or missing the time bonus farming. Well, no, see, it's not. It's again, just, see yeah. how I missed that? And then to me, I'm mm -hmm. pointing directly towards that. So anyway, that's uh, using the time limit of the chapter to my advantage. Yeah, yeah, exactly. See, again, I keep pressing that damn thing. And if you notice, whenever you do the X plus A towards them, it doesn't have that little shadow jump, which messed me up a little bit, too. Yeah, you just get the uh, you get the the you get the effect on the ground though, don't you? I think with his feet, right? But but you don't get the um, like the, the trail that he leaves behind in uh, in black. Yeah, it actually kind of throws me off a little bit. There's my mm. little shurikens. Now I want to say before this starts, these fights are awful, and there's two reasons I'm doing this. One, as you can see, in black, there wasn't. Uh, a timer. Once you went back into this room, there was no timer involved. In mm -hmm. NGO4, before the update, every encounter that you could come back to, there would be a timer associated with it. So, you know, you could go in this room until there is no more time. And I think I fight it like five times. And I'm doing it to build essence because I have plenty of time to kill Mirai. And also to talk about some of the changes. I, I put this in there to show some of the changes, or we're going to talk about them. So what we've listed in terms of the differences between Ninja Gaiden Black and NGO 4, this is going to be a lot. We can talk about uh, individual ones a little bit later, but there's no UT charge. There's no UT or ET bonus. There's no lunar, no smoke bombs. You can't rotate the camera. There's no Master Ninja. There's no mission mode. The enemies are the same on all levels. So, you know, these are the same enemies that you would get on normal and hard. Uh, items are in the same location. There's not going to be anything different. Like uh, we had talked about on JTV's earlier hard run. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no minions with bosses on the higher levels. The Scarab rewards are the same. You know, they're, they're different by level on Ninja Gaiden Black. There's no clones. There's no extra saves like in Chapter 3 before you fight Dynamo. You know, there's no save statue there. Mm -hmm. There's no celerity or potency. And the potency actually makes a pretty big difference on oh, yeah. the zombies uh, so are very do, hard. So, do, so does celerity as well, yeah. just because of like the addition of being able to charge UTs. Uh, the ninjas don't have a grab, so you don't have to worry about them flipping over and stabbing you in the back. Uh, there's no guard break by some of the enemies like you're used to. The Flying Swallow, you could actually go through this whole game and pretty much Flying Swallow your way through the whole game. And as you notice, see, my, my uh, score went down from 10,000 to 5,000 to 2,500. Now after I complete this, it'll go down to 1,250 and, and so on. Uh, the UF is stronger on Awakened Alma. Uh, the bow has more recovery frames and uh, two levels of zoom on the bow, which also kind of messes me up after playing that. So. Yeah. Anything you wanted to specifically talk about? 
Uh, there, it's it just a thing to add. Uh, there is actually more recovery frames just in general on the game. Uh, I've mentioned this in uh, the, like the transition from HP1. Um, you can't do on landing directional attacks into on landing directional attacks in this game because the recovery on your landing frames is so long that the game will interpret your forward Y as just. Why? Look at how bad I'm playing right now. I'm so sorry. I'm just I'm like, what's going on here? <laughs> um, but on, on the moves, um, even on some of the moves, uh, like Helm Splitters got way more recovery. That's the in air, like neutral Y uh, with the Dragon Sword. Um, hey Straight Slash has got way more recovery. That's the ET move. Um, and it might not, I mean, I say way more recovery. It's probably only like a few frames. Um, but when you compare that to black and how quickly you can recover from stuff in black, it makes a huge difference. Like, you will get caught out all the time. If you play a ton of black and then play NGB like you're pl and play NGO4 like you're playing black, like, you're gonna get hit all over the place because you're gonna try and do things that you can't actually do in NGO4. So that's just something to keep in mind. Oh, one thing as well, the, uh, the Vigorian Flails and the Nunchucks, another small change. I remember how in black, they let you do the uh, the Y ender after every single hit of the X string. Right. Um, in this game, you can only do it after the first two hits, which is a huge, which actually makes them, I think, quite a lot less useful in this game compared to Black. You know, I've uh, I watch myself, and what I do sometimes is I try to go so fast that when it shows some of the Y moves that I do, I'm actually trying to hit X Y. But I just touch the button, but not fast enough to depress it all the way. Mm -hmm. My wife actually watched me. She says, well, you're hitting the X. I'm like, well, it's not hitting. It's because I just barely touch it and don't press it. So, you know, JTB talked about in his last video that he's getting old and he feels it. Well, <laughs> you know, I've, I've said it before. I'm, I'm 52 now, so the reflexes <laughs> definitely aren't what they used to be. But I'll try to make all the time limits. There's some that I really think that are impossible to make and we'll get to those chapters and see what see what people think yeah so again i should have waited and used my ut but i've actually had i should have put some bloopers in there of how many shurikens those damn white ninjas threw at me in a row one time from across the room it was like yeah they are very very shuriken happy in this game aren't they I suppose so, that's another difference, though. Like the, the enemies just behave differently in this game, as well. It's uh, it's something that you won't really notice unless you go back and forth between the two. But um, you know, like, the enemies are just more aggressive in this game. You know, I think it's because they don't have the attacks to open you up. Like they don't, you know, they don't guard break you as much. They don't, um, you know, they don't have grabs. So I guess they just kind of have to make up for that with just brute force. You know, attacking you over and over again. So you can do the X Y on landing Y. But if you notice, see, I'm, I'm moving ahead and he's not rolling at me. You have to get close for him to, like, do a move there. Now he'll roll or charge. You'll watch it again here. It'll come up where he's, see, normally he's not rolling at me. I'll come towards him. Now he'll roll. Yeah, Mariah's a bit smarter in this game. <laughs> really? <laughs> you think about it. Well, I'm telling you. See, I, like, right now in black, he would have rolled. You know, yeah, it was he, X, he's Y, way, on me, Y. Yeah, and, he's way easier to manipulate in black. So, but the timing on this has to be pretty precise. It doesn't seem as, I, I don't want to say easy, but uh, you really have to be careful because he tends to grab you out of it a lot more than, mm -hmm. you know, what you might have been used to in black. So, I have 15 minutes for this chapter and the kills were 162. So, again, I want to use that to my advantage to collect essence. I actually replayed this again and scored 17,000 in essence. I focused more on, you know, the white ninjas and collecting their yeah. essence than what I did, you know, here. This was just kind of to explain some of the differences, to talk about some of it. And what I wanted to show here, back in the day when we were all playing this, we would all do different challenge runs. And you know, it was like, oh, Alan, you know, you only play a certain way. Can you do a run where there's original life bar, no Nimpo, and no UF? So this was the run I did back in 2005, and we all used to do challenge runs back in the day, and I've done all that stuff, but with my style of play, I like going for time limits, and I like going for scores. Some of the people that have guides out right now, 
saying, oh, the score doesn't matter and time limits don't matter. Well, in my opinion, they do. I mean, that's their play style. Anybody can play how they want. This is my play style. So that's why I want to put this guide out. And, you know, if you can already get through the game and flying swallow through it and wall jump through it and everything, try making some of the time limits and the chapter bonuses. You know, we're giving you a template here telling you the kills and the times for the chapters. And I think you'll be surprised how much fun and challenging it is. And how, you know, insanity inducing it can be as well. <laughs> well I was <laughs> trying to stay positive on all that. But yes, yeah, yeah, you got to get you got to get you got to give people the truth. <laughs> right, right. Well. Okay, everyone, that's it for this chapter. Hope it explained. One thing I will say on those respawning enemies in chapter one, later on in the game, the enemies for chapter five, uh, you could go back into chapter four and those enemies will have 10,000 bonus time limits, you know, 10,500. So people used to play the game back in the day for score and just go through and, you know, in chapter six, go back into chapter five, go back into chapter four and really forego the, the chapter time limit. And they would score 20, 21 million or something like that. So that's how the people would get those high scores back then. Once uh, Team Ninja patched that, you know, it, it was more like the Ninja Guide in Black play style. So anyway, I wanted to explain that. I'm thinking about doing a, a run like that to just show it, but we'll see how it goes after this run. But anyway, that's it for Chapter 1, guys. Hope everybody enjoyed it. Hope we gave a lot of good information, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care, everyone.